Okay, so now we're doing remote site commissioning. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so once log dated a new site, which now showed up in the monitoring report. Right, we already did that. Yeah, jump okay. in, Smith. So what we're looking at here is that this is a system that's been installed. Out view. Go to the inverter. Right click with the mouse. Your menu options show up. Choose operation. We're going to select exit standby. And it asks you, it gives you a little alert notice. And effectively, what we're doing is we're sending a remote command to enable the inverter. What are we waiting to complete? Um, right now it's uh, exit standby so it says success. we've been successful and we can acknowledge in, in, that in, 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 so we'll acknowledge that and go ahead and pair this inverter remotely so the pairing sequence would go here pairing so what we're going to do is uh, pair the inverter. So this is a remote pairing. Typically, pairing would be completed on site at the we'll complete remotely pairing the inverter. And you want to make sure when your solar window or solar through its pairing sequence. So normally between the inverter and the optimizer. Um, so now it says pairing, done pairing, success. Yep. So we can acknowledge the pairing is complete. And now we see what would show is all 14 showing here. I'll scroll up and down just to show. And what we can do is come back over here and do show tree. We see the inverter. We can click. And we can also see all of the, can I expand that? No. And all of them here, right? That's pretty much what we wanted to show for the pairing, right? Yep. Okay. Oh. okay, picking up again for remote site commissioning, we're doing... Go to the admin tab. We have the option for the physical layout editor. And in here, we have a few options on creating the physical map. There's either the site mapper file, which would come from your smartphone or PDF um, field device that would have been used to map the serial number of the optimizers during installation. There's a system physical layout template, which is a PDF document where you peel and stick the stickers on and you upload the image of that map to the portal and then that actually gets submitted for completion remotely and autonom or automatically. There's the option to upload a DXF, um, essentially AutoCAD file, and that would create the physical map of your array. And lastly, this is the most common way to, to create a physical map, is to actually go to the editor. And just scrolling down the screen, we can see here that there are links to the YouTubes to explain this whole process. If we were to click on it shows the creation of Meet the, physical, the solar layout edge editor. physical layout editor. In this tutorial, you will. Okay. Physical map is to actually go to the editor and we create. This view here provides some okay, tips just, and tricks. You can just leave that. Yeah. Okay. We can just leave that in. Yep. Let's okay. just go away in the future and not show up. Close that. So we'll close that. So this is our drawing area. These are our components. We can either click and drag. In this case, we have one. Uh, so we'll just click and drag it to the drawing surface area. 14 optimizers, so we'll be dragging over a grouping of 
panels to the array, and we want to define the number of columns and the number of rows, the orientation, the slope of the array, call it 25, the uh, azimuth, the orientation of your PV array. So columns, we're going to say 7, and we have two rows in this case as an example, and we can select Create, and that'll create our array, which we can then move around as needed. In this case, we'll create the little alignment, and we've created our array, vent pipe or something like that, where we needed to delete a component. You can select, right-click on your mouse and select Delete. If you need to restore Or click value, and we should be able to restore the value. We can assign the serial number right to the inverter. So we see that it's already taken, so that's great. And then here we have a drop down that shows all the components. In this case, is a list of serial numbers of optimizers. Mm -hmm. And there you go, and then we know that that one goes there. For example, from our physical map, we know that that's the way it went. So we just go through and we search until we can assign each of the optimizers to the array. They're not going away. Or are they going away? They're going away, yep. Oh. So they, yeah, as you yeah. assign them, they should disappear. Yeah. So it gets faster and easier to write with your smartphone as you're laying down panels and scanning. You can essentially scan them. So once we've defined our inverter location and roughly our array, we are then asked to, so we're going to make sure we designate which string we're working on. So here's string one, and then we'll go to our array, and by pressing, in this case, in this case, control, group, group select, we can select all of the components to the string. Once we've selected the ones we want within the string, we select string it, and they become a unique color which designates. Which In this case, we're going to make one, so we go back to what you did. Okay. So we'll reverse ourselves. Also, yeah. clear it, clear it out. So we're going to do control. So yeah, if we made a mistake and we wanted to reassign these ones to a separate separate string, for example, string two, we could say string it. So there it would show. Oh, that, that's those lower ones? Yeah, we it's going to be hard to edit it together. I meant to... And so those are the different variants. And now we're going to select Publish. Okay, then we go down here, cut that. The layout published successfully. Phys physical Layout Editor will now okay. be closed. Say so OK. Close that. Confirm. And now we can go to our Layout View. Here we go. 